be honest, I thought the boss would be stricter. Considering that's my second time here today, but I can ponder on that later. Let's see what we have here this time. Ah. Alrighty then. This time around we have subject 15M-RFT17. Leon Askin, a male 25 year old from Australia. Our swimmer is also around 6 foot 2 inches and weighs close to 174 pounds. Note, born in a traditional family with two sisters, Leon becomes anxious when he is without something... cute. Huh. Nothing wrong with that, but the first thought would be the cause of the anxiety. Something tells me that family life wasn't too... great. His father is a highly decorated soldier, and as an athlete, he has always been under pressure from both himself and others to put on a strong manly self. He's been taught not to show weakness since he was little. His suppressed desires were expressed through his material obsession, especially with detailed and pretty objects. Leon is quietly expressing such a desire through wearing cute underwear or filling his gallery with cute photos. Ah, that confirms it. Toxic masculinity is a real issue that can affect everyone. Even the men themselves. There's no set way that a man can act, and there really isn't a formula, so the fact that he's pushed to act like a quote-unquote man is rather dangerous. And also, there's no shame in liking cute things either. Leon's father is a highly decorated soldier as a member of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. It seems that he has been demanded strong masculinity as he grew up as an athlete. His obsession with cute things may be a coping strategy to that stress. These cute and pretty things must have relieved psychological strain, but he's very ashamed of this hobby. Both his family and his fans expect him to be masculine, not feminine. Collecting cute things is the only coping strategy Leon knows and he suffers extreme anxiety and stress without them. It can be so bad it develops into a major depressive episode and self-offing ideation. Please ask the maintenance crew to scatter cute things around the island. It's the expectation that's really ticking me off. Just let Leon be himself. That's better assured for him as being grounded in who you are is more stronger than being someone you aren't. He shouldn't have to feel ashamed of anything that makes him who he is. And who he is is pretty incredible. Leon is always reliable and energetic. He plays better as part of a team than when he is by himself. He assigns roles based on each person's ability and helps them to be at their full potentials when they are struggling. We're not sure if he maintains the team so well because of his sensitive personality or because of the know-how he has acquired through the many years as a professional athlete. Anyway, he is always paying attention to how others are doing. It's the same when he's facing an enemy. He carefully scans the target and waits for the right moment. Then he catches his target off guard with a surprise attack when they are at the weakest. Even if they survive the encounter with Leon, they will surely suffer a grave injury. Very strategic, tactical, and battle smart. Skills like that? He's for sure someone you can't underestimate and have to keep a watchful eye on. I'm impressed. Leon is socially sharp. He knows what words the other wants or fears to hear. It's because he remembers every little word and gesture. Therefore, subjects like 16M-RFT15 or 14M-RFT09, who crave recognition for their abilities and achievements, want to get close to him. He looks into their feet and prays the small details others might miss. On the other hand, in an argument, he's able to find and exploit the weaknesses they try to keep hidden from him. 14-RFT-02's father complex, 16-M-RFT-22's wavering faith, etc. Although, he quickly regrets his actions once he notices others' devastated look. It seems that the habit of exposing others' weaknesses cannot be changed that easily. But as unknown is just unknown. As known, you're compelled to act on it. We could regret and apologize afterward, but we think it would be difficult to go back to how they were before. The strength of figuring out others' weaknesses becomes his downfall in these situations. Very socially smart too. Maybe even too smart. Sure, team chemistry could benefit from a trait like this, but this could also escalate to an argument and then just one big fight. But at the same time, Leon's attention to detail is more than valuable. Then that's my question. What do you value? Leon used to collect cologne bottles before he came to the island. It appears he never used them, so he must have collected them for display and satisfaction. He felt self-conscious about his hobby, but he couldn't refrain himself. 
Collecting pretty things was his only way to skip the extreme stress and indulge himself. Cologne bottles, huh? I think I get the appeal. I do have one or two laying around that do look nice, but hopefully that's not too much of a costly hobby. But as long as it helps them, there really isn't room for me to judge, right? It's easy to find the history of celebrities like Leon and 14M-RT05. You can find interviews, news articles, and information on their private lives down to the smallest details. Reading up on Leon, all of his significant others had striking looks, but none of his relationships lasted for too long. Given his personality, it seems like he dated others not for physical or emotional pleasure, but just to fulfill his need to have something pretty. Just like how he collects cologne bottles just to cherish them every once in a while. We're sure that they did not want to be treated that way. However, that... That I can judge and disapprove of. People can be very attractive, yes, but treating them as if they were like cologne bottles isn't the best idea. With that, you're dealing with feelings and irrationality people and all that can just be one big mess. As a kid, Leon was bullied for having girly hobbies. Children at that age entertained themselves by hurting others. He was a victim of that. In elementary school, Leon was small and effort. He was an easy target to pick on. Since then, he has compulsively kept his preferences secret. Furthermore, his father was a professional soldier and his friends were all in athletic clubs. He was surrounded by manliness, so Leon grew up thinking a man has to act like a man. The influence did not come just from around him. In television and video games, the ideal man was a leader and a ruler. A figure of power, not someone who fills his bedroom with stuffed unicorns. That type of man would be the butt of a joke. Anyway, because of his experiences during childhood and the surroundings he grew up in, he thinks his girly personality was something he would grow out of. As a competitive swimmer, he was always confident, bold, and energetic. Leon never showed vulnerability or the fact that he collects cute and pretty things as a hobby. Not even once. Yeah, I didn't consider those parts either. Kids can be awful. Also, the fact that he was surrounded by the strong man personalities with his father as well as his own friends, that can't have been easy to deal with whatsoever. Nor is it hiding it for who knows how long. With all the passion he shows to all he takes on, Leon becomes extremely depleted when he runs out of fuel. He turns anhedonic, irritable, and loses so much emotional energy that major depression is insufficient to describe him. Well, we can fix it easily enough by just resetting his brain, but it's always the last resort. If possible, it would be best for him to carry on the tests. So providing refuge for his mental well-being is important. That's rather natural to be mentally exhausted. And that rate does shoot up when he has to hide something about himself from everyone. So of course he's going to need time for himself. That's just going to be the norm. But now that childhood is piquing my interest. Looks like Aglaia was already thinking of that and beat me to the chase. Alright, we got a hold of an old neighborhood friend, our record says. Ah, uh, Leon. Leon Askin. I saw him in the media a lot. We brought you all the way out here. We don't keep in touch, and we're not friends or anything. I have nothing to say about him. Well, we were all young then. The concept of the discrimination is a little fuzzy at that age. One guy starts it, and then it's ten guys, and then it's a hundred. Can't claim I was innocent. It all started when someone spotted Leon looking through the window of a doll store. Just like that, he became a plaything by the other kids. We teased him as if we were competing. That went on right up until he left our town. Nobody knew it was the wrong thing to do. Only one of us had tried to stop it. Would it have made a difference? I'll just reiterate this. Kids are AWFUL! I've said, it seems like there was going to be no avoiding it. So, his childhood with the other kids felt like it was always going to be rough. Maybe leaving that neighborhood was the right move. But Leon's a dude that just likes cute things. When I say it like that, it doesn't sound so bad, right? Well, that's because it isn't. You can love whatever you want to. Quote on, as long as it's not morally wrong and or illegal, because I can't condone that. But Leon is pretty smart, athletic, and he had to be tough inside and out. Notice I said had because he 
didn't have to. Hell, I have stuffed animals because I just like them. No shame in that. Just wish he didn't feel like that. But easier said than done. Maybe I can give a cologne bottle or a stuffed toy. Probably not a significant other, but I can still think about getting that office blanket though. And that is the end, finally, of the Eternal Return file of Leon Askin. Sorry that this took like over two months, because I've just been very busy with life. <laughs> also, I had a recording of this and I accidentally deleted it while editing, so I had to redo the whole recording again. Aren't I smart? <laughs> but as always, thank you very much for watching, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jibba jabba, my kings, my queens, and my royals, and I... See you soon. Lord knows I try.